question you guys keep asking quite often is, is there a way in Vinyan to hide some parts of your avatar, let's say your clothes, or some resources like head accessories or what have you? And sometimes you may also ask, can you hide whole outfits? And the answer is, in most cases, yes, you can. Hi hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new Vinyan Basics tutorial. So today we are going to look into the object visibility node and see how we can use that in Vinyan to hide a game object that contains a mesh file. Now if this doesn't say anything to you, don't worry too much. Basically what you need to know is that as long as your avatar has various parts of the body split into multiple Unity game objects, then we can use this feature. But I will also show you how you can make sure that this is the case. And if it's not the case, then you will have to look into a little bit more complex way of hiding your outfits. So, shall we get started then? Now that you have Vinyan open and your avatar loaded in, how do we actually hide a certain part of the outfit, for example, or an accessory or anything like that? Now, this will depend a lot on how your model has been designed. If you have every single accessory in its own mesh and its own game object, then you will be able to do this in Vinyan. So let's see how to do it. First, you would open, of course, the node graph. And then we're going to search for object visibility node. And let's add that to the scene. Now, what this will do is it will turn the visibility status of a game object either on or off. And let's start searching for what kind of game objects we actually have in our model. So simply click the search icon. And in this pop up, you will first of all see all the bones of your avatar. And then usually at the bottom, you will see the game objects that contain meshes in them. If your model happens to have the asset or accessory you want to hide as a game object, then simply select that from the list. Like, let's say if we wanted to make this tiara so that we can toggle it, I would just select the tiara here like so. And now if I am going to signal this node, then we should be able to hide our tier. So let's try that. Let's add something to signal this with. Like so. Now I'm going to set it that the object should be invisible and then let's try signaling it. And as you can see, the tiara is gone. Now if I click this visible again and signal it will become visible again. So with this method, it is super easy to hide game objects that contain meshes. Of course, if your whole model has been combined into a single mesh and a single game object, then you will not be able to use this technique, but will probably have to create it inside Unity as an animation and then export your avatar as a VSF avatar. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And remember that if you want to set the default state of certain objects to be hidden, which we did not cover today, it is as simple as going to Unity and then setting the active status of the game object to false for your objects that you want to hide by default. This will hide them inside Unity as well. Just make sure you hide the game object and not the actual mesh renderer. If you have any questions you would like covered in this Vinyan Basics tutorial series, do write it down in the comments. I would be glad to cover these in the coming weeks as well. Anyway, cuties, see you next time. Bye bye!